and welcome back to Tech Tuesday. I'm Steve Leahy. I've done a video on the additives for Createx before, about a year ago, but I, I want to go into a little bit more specifically with the UVLS series of additives. They're not really additives, uh, but I wanted to kind of describe the way that I use them and um, kind of how they find their way into, into what I do around here. So they're obviously made by Createx. They're designed to work with Createx's entire line. Although this particular set of products right here, the UVLS, can be used with a lot of different products as well, meaning it can, um, it can be incorporated with other types of paints as you're working. And what I mean by that is they're designed as a clear coat. They're designed as a top coat. It's not like an automotive clear coat in that it's super high uh, solids and it's really, really you know thick. Um, it's really designed to be more of a very durable, thinner clear coat, but it's not that super glassy, high build clear that you would get from a two-part clear. It's not designed to do that. So that's the way these things were designed. They were designed as a clear coat. However, what, a, what everyone's been finding is they're an excellent additive to the paints. They do a really cool thing to especially Createx paints. The Wicked line and the regular Createx line and even the illustration line if you wanted to. So the way you think about them, the way I use them, is as a kind of an additive to the paint that will do two things. One, it will smooth out the paint. It'll help it to spray a little bit better. It'll also make it a little bit more transparent. So it's really nice if you have a difficult color to spray. The earthy colors like burnt umber and raw sienna and things like that. This really helps to smooth that paint when you spray it. it. The paint itself with the pigment and the binders tend to be a little bit gummy and uh, don't want to spray. This, the UVLS family will, will really smooth that out. The other thing that it really works well at, especially in the way that I use the paint, is I generally tend to overreduce everything way too much or way over what they recommend. So what happens is when you reduce paint like that, you remove its ability to stick. When you really spread out that binder, the binder is the glue that really helps it to stick to the surface. This will replace that while still allowing it to spray very well. So you, you have this kind of real transparent, nicely flowing paint, but now its ability to stick has been restored by adding this back in. So those are really the two ways that I use it a lot. Um, and of course, I do use it as a clear, and I'll get into that in a second. So it comes in three different versions. It's all the same product, it's just what they add to it to make what the final sheen looks like. So there's a gloss, which is just the UVLS by itself. It just comes out naturally glossy. There's a matte, which as you would think, it dries to a matte finish. And then the satin is kind of an eggshell type in the middle. So what I really should do is this. So that gives you your sheens. I use a satin all the time as a clear coat on all my paintings. I really love it. It just, I can't describe it. It's right in the middle. It's, it's not super glossy. It does have some gloss to it, but it's also not dead matte like the matte is. So it works out really, really well as a clear coat. It protects the painting, adds that level of depth to it as you clear something. Uh, and it just works across the board. I can spray it on anything, aluminum, ampersand, the clayboard, paper, anything. It just works really, really well to seal in that painting and really keep it safe. I don't tend to use the mat very much. Um, where I do intend to use the mat a lot more is I just started doing a lot of scale model building. And I think the mat finish on some of the parts of the uh, painting will be really, really helpful. So I feel like I'll be using the mat more. The gloss I use all the time. Again, not as a final clear, which it's intended to be, but I use this in the paint all the time. It's, it's my stabilizer. It, it really does what we were talking about just a minute ago about restoring its ability to stick and things like that and really smoothing it out. The beautiful thing about this stuff is you can use this in any ratio you want with your paint. If you wanna have an ounce of, of UVLS gloss and then add a drop of paint and mix it in, it's totally great. It works totally fine. There's no mixing ratio for it specifically when it's just this with paint. And that's wonderful because, like I said, it gives you a million options as far as what you can do to the paint, how you can manipulate it. 
The UVLS gloss also acts as the carrier for the, for the Candy 2.0 line. So if you're using uh, the Createx Candy 2.0, this is the binder. This is the carrier that they recommend for it. So this is what allows it to stick and what allows it to spray very smoothly. So these two go hand in hand. But like I said, I do mix it with all the paint as well. You can use it across the board. With the reducer itself, this is where you get into ratios and being careful with it. Again, because when you reduce a paint, you reduce its ability to stick as well. Sprays nice, but it won't stick very well. So again, that's where this UVLS gloss really comes into play. And the nice thing about the system, the entire system, it's hard to mess it up. I mean, the way I reduce paints and really over reduce paints, you can get into some, some, some trouble with it. If you're not aware of that ability to stick, for instance, I have right here opaque black, which is reduced 20 to 1. So it's 20 parts reduced to one part paint. Way, 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 way over reduced from what they recommend. If I spray a really light coat of this on something and then put some tape down, I'll be able to just rip the paint right off with the tape. It doesn't stick very well. But what I use this for is almost like a tint. So when I have a full painting and I'm, I need just a little bit of like shading black on it, I'll use this 20 to 1 because it sprays so well. And then at the end, it'll get a coat of satin, UV less satin, and that'll lock it down. That'll, that'll really kind of melt into it and hold it down. So you can do stuff like this, but you got to know what you're getting into. Anyway, that's a whole different story. I really wanted to touch on the UVLS family because it is fantastic and I use it all the time and I get a lot of questions about it. So that's kind of the raw basics. If you watch the Open Studio, you can see this stuff in action a little bit better, as well as the 543s that I do. Both use the UVLS gloss in the paint and as well as um, the clear coats are all satin too. Okay, so I hope this Tech Tuesday kind of gave you the basics on the UVLS line. And uh, if you have any questions, please drop them in the comments below. And as always, if you liked it, please consider liking and subscribing and uh, sharing this to someone who may need it. And I really, really appreciate that. All right, guys, I will catch you all next time. Thanks very much. I'm Steve Leahy for Tech Tuesday, and have a great week.